<laughs> you still playing with that? Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little assistant that's going to help me some in opening a really exciting big box that we got in the mail, didn't we? Is it big? It's heavy too, isn't it? So I received this huge box right here of all kinds of goodies from a really exciting place called Nature's Workshop Plus. And this is a family owned business that has been around for about 30 years, I believe. And you're gonna find all kinds of stuff here. So it is just an amazing place of all kinds of really cool resources that are very <laughs> nature, science focused, um, to encourage your kids to explore out in the world instead of just on devices and things like that. They have some really good prices on a lot of things. And one of the things that I think is really great that they offer are lab kits for Apologia Sciences, Berean Builders, I think some for Bob Jones and things like that, which just make it easier as a homeschool parent to have all the lab supplies ready for the different sciences that we might be using in our homeschool, along with a lot of, like I said, nature study resources. There's nature study notebooks and handbooks and all of those things. So are you ready to help me open? Yep. All right, you gotta, you gotta quit doing flips. Okay, so we're gonna open this big, big box up and show you what all we got from Nature's Workshop Plus. Noah has actually already, he got my keys and tried to open the box, didn't you? You little stinker. Okay, let's see what all is in here. Exciting stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start with this on top, and this is actually, whew, it's really heavy, hold on. Maybe we shouldn't start with that big thing. Let's start with this. What is this, Noah? It's my school. Oh, it's your school. It is a, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's show them what we got first. It is a life cycle figurines. It is a 24 piece set. And this is so cool. I'm, gonna see what's I'm not gonna open it right now, but it has like the little figurines of life cycles of all of these different creatures, which are just great for young kiddos, especially to grasp and understand the concept when they can actually hold a figure in their hands rather than just like doing a worksheet. Ooh. Yes, this is so cool. The next thing we got is this big, huge butterfly net, which is going to be so fun when we go explore in the in the streams and things like that, but then also catching bugs. This thing is awesome. It is huge. This is and really strong. It's going to be perfect. I want to hold it. Yeah. All right. So, and if you guys missed my science video for the year of what curriculum we're going to be using next year. We're actually going to be doing um, a nature study for all of my elementary school kids. Are you still going to play with that? Okay, the next thing that I got is the National Audubon Society Pocket Guide. It is Familiar Birds of North America East. So, um, I have some different pocket guides, but they're not really pocket size. And this one is perfect for just putting in our bag. The pictures are beautiful, and it is specifically for the Eastern United States. So, I think this is going to be really great when we do our hikes and things like that. Okay, so the next thing is another set of books here. Another set of books here, and the first one is Fun with Nature. It's a take-along guide, which I think this will be really fun. It even has like a little ruler on the back. And it is just full of, it covers, it covers caterpillars, bugs, butterflies, frogs, toads, turtles, rabbits, squirrels, chipmunks, snakes, salamanders, and lizards, tracks, scats, and signs, trees, leaves, and bark. And so it's just like an informational book about like caterpillars and bugs and just all things in nature. I think it will give us um, just a really great little kid-friendly guide 
to look up different things and to just enhance our nature study. So I'm really excited about that one. The next thing is a book called I Took a Walk. And I just thought this book looked so pretty. It says, have you ever sat quietly near a stream or in a meadow and just looked and listened? You will be surprised by how much you see and hear. And so it is just, like I said, it's this beautiful book with little interactive pages about going on a nature walk. I just think that's so pretty. So I have a very busy four-year-old today. So newly turned four-year-old. But anyway, the next book is Where Butterflies Grow. Again, just this really beautifully illustrated book about the life cycle of butterflies. And I love that it has like these little up-close views. I just think that's so pretty. And I just thought that would be such a pretty book to add to our collection. So I got that one. The next thing is um, Billy and Blaze. This is um, a book series and it is one that I've wanted to grab for a while. Uh, and so that this is the first one. And so I grabbed that. The next one is, so we are big into hiking, camping, exploring in the outdoors. But my boys also took a survival class through our co-op. And so they love this kind of stuff, especially my son Marcus. He loves this kind of stuff, like tying knots. So this is, it's like spiral bound, but hard on the outside. And it has all kinds of stuff about tying knots. It's got rope basics and um, caring for your ropes. And then it gets into all of these different types of ties that you can do all these different knots that's the word I meant to say um and he is gonna love that like this is something that maybe if we have like a rainy day in the summer or it gets too hot outside because it gets really hot and muggy here as the summer goes on we normally will play outside in the morning and then in the afternoon when it's sweltering <laughs> they come in to do things inside and so I think this will be something really fun for him to do um, this summer. The next thing is I love like these laminated pocket guides of things because they make it so easy to put in your bag. But this is one that's all about different Tennessee trees and wildflowers. So it has, like I said, it's like hard, like laminated. So it's not going to get wet and it folds up really easy and has all of these specific to Tennessee. And they had all different ones for different states. I also got the one that is Tennessee Wildlife. because And it even has like this little map on the back that's color coded and tells you like what kinds of creatures and stuff. Oh, I didn't realize it had all the birds. I should have known wildlife. But anyway, so I thought that would be really, really cool to keep in our bag. Um, and then we have used these Christian Liberty Nature Readers for quite some time in our homeschool, but I don't have book three, and so I wanted to grab that one. I just absolutely love these. I think I did a video a couple, either two or three years ago, on how you can do nature study if you can't get out in nature like maybe there's something preventing you from that and i showed how you can use these in order to do that and so i'll try to find that video and link it down below as well as the video that shows what we're doing for science next year but i grabbed that the next thing i am so excited about this this is a backyard birds matching game i was like that is just too cool so, um, I'll try to open this up here in a little bit so you guys can see it better. The next thing is this little magnifying bug viewer. So, I thought that would be really cool. You can put the bugs in there and it magnifies it so you can see them a lot better, which will be great for nature notebooking and things like that. The next thing that I got is something for hands. <laughs> Um, for to busy some hands. This is the kind of stuff I like to keep specifically for our um, 
our read aloud time, sorry, <laughs> or just in school in general. I think that busy four year old that's in the background of my video is going to love this, but it's basically like Lincoln Logs, except these are actually, um, they are made, I believe, like here in the USA in Maine. So I grabbed those as well. And then I believe the last thing is actually our, oh my goodness, our lab kit. So in my science video, I shared what I'm doing with my middle school boys for science, but it is just a unit. And in another video, I shared that I picked up the Berean Builders Science in the Industrial Age to use once they are done with that. And so this is just the lab kit for the Berean Builders Science in the Industrial Age. So, having all of the materials already gathered and put together for me into a lab kit makes it so nice, especially because this thing is huge. Uh, there's a lot of materials for the science in the industrial age. So, if you just are looking for something to make it a little easier to get your science labs done, I would definitely check out their science lab kits. Oh, one more thing I was going to show you guys what um, is in or what this matching game looks like. It just looks fun. I'm excited about this one. Okay, so this is the matching game and it's just like a matching ah, memory game here. Um, and it's got the names of all the different birds and everything. I just thought that would be so fun as just like a nature science themed um, game that we could play and so I grabbed that so I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today for this unboxing make sure to check out nature's workshop plus and thank you so much to them for sending me this big box of goodies today I hope you guys have a blessed day <laughs> you still playing with that yeah